Hello everybody. I know this is a very strange start to one of my videos, but I just wanted to go over my Jeffree Star collection that I have amassed since this is the day and like a couple of hours of even less than an hour of his launch for his Valentine's mystery boxes. I thought I'd just show everybody what I had. I don't have a lot. I have not been so lucky and I've been broke. So here are my lips. I have one, two, three, four velour lips. I have three of the concealers. I have one bullet lip. I have two glosses. I have a lip scrub. Of course, I have the Jeffree Star X Morphe um, makeup bag and brushes in there. I have my very first, I think my very first was either the Jeffree Star Morphe uh, artistry palette or the blood sugar, I'm not sure which, which came first, the chicken or the egg, but there are my babies. Um, so there's the blood sugar, Jeffree Star X Morphe, the artistry palette, blue blood, and then I've got the little mini breaker there, and then of course the jaw breaker, my Morphe, X Jeffree Star setting spray. I've got some powder, setting powder, which I've only like kind of used it once. I'm not really good on using it. I don't really know how to use it. So, and I've got really dry skin too. So I just didn't really make a big deal out of it. These are my other two items. This is, well, yeah, I have the lip scrub and it is in the, I think it's Q, no, lemon, lemon sucker. And then the um, Nefri, skin frost which is just like the best skin frost ever <laughs> in my opinion I love it I don't really hate anything that he does his formula is really really good so his his quality is really there so like I get the hype I really really get the hype but that is my collection it is small and humble but it is my collection let me see if I can flip this little guy around I don't think I can I think I'm gonna have to stop the film and and or maybe I can just do like this and set this up on my daughter's table and see if I can't get in the picture. Of course, I don't know how anything is going to look because I am kneeling on the ground. <laughs> so this is the mini breaker, beautiful colors. I'm gonna put that guy away. And um, I just felt like it would be a fun thing to do it this way because, you know, we have that whole launch coming out and it'd be something interesting to talk about and uh, a useful way for me to spend my lunch break going over what I have, because sometimes you forget. As we, unfortunately, I'm out of breath because it is, well, it was snowing and now it's raining a lot and it's cold and then I come inside and it's nice and warm and warm air for some reason will make me feel a little winded. I probably need to get out my inhaler. I have it with me, I, have, I always have one with me but I hate that I have to use it. Um, oh wow, I just got makeup on my blanket. Oh, not gonna get yelled at for that, but. Well, it's my blanket, so I don't care. Little Jeffree Star spillage is okay with me. That sounded kind of wrong. Anyhow, I'm gonna put these babies away. Now I'm putting away the breaker palette and I got the blue, which is, what is it called? I think it says delicious, but I am so blind. Yeah, it says delicious. I got delicious all over me. So, and all over my blanket. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to be doing this, but I'm gonna show you real quick on my blanket here. Spilled it everywhere, Eek. But yeah, um, but I thought it would be fun to kind of go over everything and talk about what I love and you know what, I mean, I guess if I, I see these these videos where people rate their Jeffree Star stuff. I don't have enough to rate it, but I guess if I was gonna go by my favorite Jeffree Star product of all time, it's most definitely this, my baby, my blood sugar. I absolutely love this palette. I've already used some down past where they, like down to where they're, they're not hitting pan yet, but they're like, the design is so totally messed up. Like I think on Candy Floss is my favorite. 
I've used the heck out of that. I really do like the like coppery tone here. That one's really pretty, but I just, I haven't really found a whole lot of use for it, like in a look that I'm doing yet. But that's just because I'm new to this makeup thing. Like I've worn makeup since, I think since I was 18, my mom let me start wearing brown mascara, but I haven't really gotten into it or really explored with it or really gotten creative with it because it just, I guess it just didn't, I didn't know it was an outlet. I didn't know that it existed as an outlet, like for me to, to do my artistic things, but I definitely have all these ideas of things I want to try. So blood sugar is my most favorite. Then my second favorite would probably be the um, artistry palette, just because I really love the color scheme of it. The formula is is different. It's not a typical Jeffree Star formula, but it still appeals to me. And then um, probably, no, probably Blue Blood would be my second favorite. Just the colors are so beautiful and it's just so fun. It's just a fun palette. And then probably the mini breaker and then the jawbreaker. Now the only reason why jawbreaker breakers at the last is because basically some somewhere at one of my palettes had to be the last. And because there it's such a varied color story that it's kind of all over the place. So, you know, sometimes you can do a lot with this and then other times it's kind of you look at it and you're like, where do I go? Where do I start? If I want to do a rainbow, this is perfect. It's absolutely perfect for like a little rainbow look. Like when Pride Month comes around or if there's a Pride Parade that I want to go to, then I most definitely will use this palette and I'll get more use out of it. But it's sort of like a special occasion palette. I do kind of want to do like on one of my get ready with me this upcoming week. I don't know if I'm going to get this out today or if I'm going to get this out on uh, Monday or something. Hopefully I'll get this out today. Um, but I don't know if I want to do... Uh, get ready with me using that palette because I, I feel like I should and I have an idea of a look I want to do with this palette so that might be fun but yeah that's my it's at the bottom only because coming up with an idea for a look is a little harder um but yeah here's my beautiful 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 highlight um skin frost that is just gorgeous you probably can't see it in here I've actually got my iPad, because I'm using my iPad to film today. I've got it set up on my daughter's little table. These glosses are so luxurious. I am not actually wearing a single Jeffree Star product today. It is terrible, but I was in such a hurry. And I'm just wearing gloomy colors and just feeling, I was just feeling kind of like, you know, that mood where you just wake up and you're just kind of like, mm. I, uh, there's an article going on uh, around Facebook now where it's talking about people who have in like have a monologue running in their head like internal monologue I guess and people who don't I'm one of the people that don't and apparently that's strange I have thoughts I have thoughts in my head but I don't have conversations with myself I know right from wrong but I don't have like the sense of conscious that has like a voice to it. There's no voice inside my head. It's just thoughts. There's just thoughts. Sometimes I ramble in my head, just like I ramble when I speak. But yeah, it's completely, completely different and apparently very strange. But yeah, so I've been kind of like taken aback on that and trying to work on having more internal thoughts. So it is a progress for me. Yeah, oh, um, just before I put everything away and, and stop filming, these little, the, the concealers, they're amazing. They have ingredients in them, according to, I think Sarah Loves Makeup or something is what her name is. But she was saying that they actually have anti-aging ingredients in them. And I wondered why they work really good as far as like not showing up the crinkles underneath my eyes really bad. I don't do a lot of concealers. When I was pregnant, all I wore was concealer. I just wear like a, 
a dewy type moisturizer and then I throw concealer on like my little red spots and discolorations and under my eyes and then just blend it in and then be done. And that's all I had to do when I was pregnant. I had some sort of magic going on. <laughs> I guess the pregnancy glow or whatever, but it's not like that anymore. Now I look like a zombie <laughs> when I'm when I'm not wearing makeup. This color is so pretty. This little bullet lipstick is so beautiful. I think it's prom queen or something like that. I think it's called prom queen. It is absolutely beautiful. I just love it. I love the little pink packaging. I'm actually starting to like pink a lot now, which is hilarious. So what time do we have here? Come on, watch. It's 1232. So I don't know how long I've been filming, but I'm probably going to go ahead and stop it here. And I am going to give you guys a look down at my stuff, um, my Jeffree Star stuff, one more time before I shut off the camera. But I definitely need to go ahead and quit. Today is my last day close to home. So this is the last time I'll be able to film at lunch. Hopefully I'll be able to film the get readies with me in the mornings. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out. I've got some ideas of what things I'd like to do to be able to make that a thing. But next week I have a couple of days where I'm going in late or I'm off altogether. And those are the days, the two days that I wanted to do the get readies with me. I still hadn't gotten any comments on what you guys would like to see. If you'd like to see a sunset look or if you'd like to see the Jeffree Star look I was thinking about doing with the Jawbreaker palette. Definitely let me know down below who or what kind of makeup look you'd like to see me do in those get ready with me's. I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday, so I'll be going to work late. So I'll probably be doing my makeup at the kitchen table and thought I would record because I thought that might be fun before I go to go get my hair done. So I'll have at least semi decent looks and then because Tracy always does a fantastic job and my hair always looks beautiful and I always take like a million pictures so I want to be ready for that. And of course I still got the idea for the giveaway going. Once I get closer to 50 subscribers I will make like a whole video just about that and then of course I'm going to have the boxy charms coming in and I want to do those. So it's going to be a more conscious effort for me and I may have to be filming late at night or on the weekends but I'm gonna make it work because this channel is fun and I don't want to lose touch with some of you guys like King Jordy like Jordy is just he is just the most stunning beautiful person ever inside and out and I'm so glad I met him through here and of course my Connor and I absolutely love my Caitlin she's amazing I love watching her videos she gives me such great ideas so does Connor Connor is Connor is a genius. I mean, Connor, if you're watching, you're a freaking genius. I love your style. I love how you do your videos. Uh, you did some really cute ideas in the past couple of days that are just blowing me away. So you all are all really amazing. And just a little bit of people that I've met through here, Sarah Mesa, you, you do like the most beautiful eye looks, just amazing. And, um, I'm trying to remember what her first name is. She's got the sweetest, most soft-spoken voice. And she does uh, makeup tutorials as well. And she's, abs I think it's Emily. Emily, she is absolutely stunning. Does the most beautiful looks. I don't wanna lose friendship with her and I don't wanna lose touch with all my fans and friends and, and all that through here either. And I'm fans of all of you guys. Like I'm probably one of your biggest fans, all of the people that I've mentioned and they're just, you know, I, I just can't, I can't let go. I got to keep doing this. So yeah, so that's what's going to go on. So we'll make it work. And I am rambling again. So see, that's what happens when you don't have that little internal monologue. You have an external monologue. Whatever you're thinking just comes out of your mouth. Because otherwise, I don't know. I guess I don't even think of these things. Like they just, I just think of thoughts and ideas and reminders and stuff like that. But I don't really have a conversation with myself or have a voice in my head like Andy says he does. So yeah, and some other people say they do too, which is kind of odd for me to think about, but I don't have that. So, but yeah, that's probably why I blather on and on and on and on because I get a chance to, to say things and to have some sort of conversation. So I can do it out loud. I just can't, I don't do this inside my head. It's really funny. It's really weird. I do have thoughts that keep me awake at night, but it's usually like, I did I take the trash out? Did I lock the door? 
and something I said to somebody a million years ago that bothered me or how I ended a video if I ended it in a way I didn't think was really well that kind of stuff that's what keeps me awake but it's not like a conversation it's just thoughts in my head but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for real because I do need to grab my food and put all this beautiful makeup away and then get started on uploading and go back to work and see what all I can get done today since it's my last day at that location. I might attempt to try to get one of those Jeffree Star mystery boxes. I don't know. I really don't have like a ton of funds and they're not doing after pay or something for the first two hours. And that would be the only way that I'd probably be able to afford it. And I tried to do this ghost credit card thing that Connor talked about and it do doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I guess maybe because my credit is on freeze right now because of what's going on with me and my credit. So yeah, so that's a whole big thing. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But hopefully I'll get something. I hope I get something. I hope, like, just pray for me that I get the at least the $60 box. That's the only one I want. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to get a bunch of stuff. I just want that little $60 mystery box. And that's it. I don't, I don't need anything else. I will wait till I have money. Until after these things come out, I'll save up money. Because I can do that. And I have been doing that. And... We will see. But I will be back eventually. I don't know when. I don't know where. But I will be back. I don't know how soon. I don't know. Um, I think next week it, for sure I'll be able to do two get readies with me. As long as everything works out, I'll be able to do those two get readies with me. I will make it a thing. I will make sure that I have it in the forefront of my brain. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, you're a trooper. And... I love you guys so much. I'm going to scroll down to here real quick while, so I can shut this off because you're facing away from me because that's the way my pads do. And there is a look of my stuff. Wow. Sorry, guys. But I just wanted to let you guys have a nice view before I say peace out, homies. Love you guys. Bye.